Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and we were creating a CRUD application using Vue.js, PHP and MySQL I. And this is the second part of the series. In first part, you have already seen that how I have set up this project and designed the main page using Bootstrap 4. Now in this video, I am going to design the rest of the part of main page. So let's start. So here you can see that I have designed a button add new user. So Today I am going to design a dialog pop-up for this button. So when we click on this button, then we simply display a pop-up dialog containing a form from where we can insert a new record. Okay. Same like add new user dialog, we will also create dialog for edit user or delete user. Okay. So let's first create a dialog for add new user. So let's open the project. So here you can see uh, the index.html file and the main.js file that I have already created in previous video. So in index.html file, I have created a root element div with id app. So we have to code our dialog inside this root element div. Okay. So let's go in uh, below and here we will design our um, model for add new user so just write add new user model and comment this now here we will design our model for add new user so here i am just creating a div with id overlay now inside this overlay div we will create a model uh, using bootstrap so here just write div keep some bootstrap class like model dialog okay now inside this model dialog create one more div with model content okay now create one more div with the model header okay now inside this header let's create a heading using this h5 tag but give a class model title okay model title now here just write add new user okay now just below this h5 tag we will create a button for closing close the dialog box so right button type button class close okay and i will use span tag here inside the button tag and uh, here just write area hidden equal to true and here use and times okay go to the browser refresh so here you can see the model uh, heading and close symbol okay now just inside this uh, model header we will create model body so here just write model body class and give some padding p4 now inside this model body we will create our form so just write method post and now inside this form we will design our form so div form group now write input type text name name and here bootstrap class form control and form control lg okay and here just give placeholder name okay save go to the browser refresh so here you can see the name input field now just copy the same form group div and paste okay now this time for email id so just change to email and in placeholder also write email okay paste one more time for phone number so just write 
tail hair and in name attribute right phone and hair also right phone save this go to the browser so three fields are ready now we have to create a button so div form group now input sorry button and add user give some class button button info button block button lg okay refresh now you can see the button so our dialog box for add new user has been ready but uh, this is uh, just below all the just below all the records so we have to make in the front of the page uh, with a overlay okay so how to do how to do this let's go to the index.html and here we have just created a overlay div so we have to write some custom css properties so just come here inside the head tag and define style tag and uh, just i'm using position fixed top zero bottom zero left zero right zero and i will use background color rgba and i will use black transparent color okay now just save this go to the browser refresh now our model is looking better okay so by default this uh, model is displaying so we have to hide by default so we will use views to hide this model okay so here just go to the model div okay now here we will use v if directive and here we can write so add model okay save this and uh, just copy the object and here paste right give a value false okay save go to the browser refresh uh, so nothing is displaying so what's the problem so some error is showing so don't know why this error is showing everything is fine but this error is showing so there is one method to solve this error is just cut the view.js coding from main.js file and just below here just remove this reference and paste here the code okay now we need we don't need any main.js file because we have just written the code inside the index.html file so just delete this main.js file and uh, let's save this go to the browser refresh so now you will be able to so now the model is hidden so we have to uh, display the model when we click on this add new user button so let's go to the index.html and uh, just go below oh sorry above and here you can see the add new user button so here i will use uh, at the right click uh, view directive and here i will use so add model equal to true okay now save this go to the browser refresh now click on this model uh, sorry button so you will be able to see the model now we also have to set the uh, so add model 
equal to false for this close button for when we click this close button then it should be hide okay so for this just copy the same thing go below here now this is the close button here you can see the close button so just here paste and change true to false okay also paste here in button add user button and paste and write false okay go to the browser now refresh click then the model is showing now click on close the model is hiding again so this is working fine now similarly we have to create a model for edit user so let's come back to the index.html and now just copy the same thing okay sorry copy and just go below and here we will just have to paste this same thing and here just write edit user model okay and change this to uh, so edit model just copy and paste here also and here okay now here just write update user and here also edit edit user okay edit user set this uh, now we have to create this object data object in our view instance so just assign a value false now we have to go above here now you can see this is the edit icon anchor tag so here in this anchor tag we have to write at the red click equal to uh, so edit model equal to true okay save this go to the browser refresh now just click this icon so you will be able to see the edit user dialog box okay now when we clicking the close symbol then the uh, model is also hiding okay so this is also okay now let's create a dialog for delete user okay so just go below and again copy the same thing and just paste here okay now here write delete user model okay now here also change delete okay so delete model just copy paste here and also paste here okay now uh, no need to paste here because we are using two button yes and no so just here delete user in model title and just delete this form tag and their content now here i will create a h4 tag for displaying a message are you sure want to delete this user okay now just keep some bootstrap class text danger okay for red clear 
and we will also display a message you are deleting you are deleting and here i will show the name of that user so i am stack i am using a static message for now so just writing ultimania and now just below this message i will use a horizontal line now i will create a two button um, yes and here i will use this class button button uh, danger and button lg okay and now just create a button for no so just write no here and change the danger class to success class now just create a space between these two buttons so i will use this nbsp copy uh, copy paste 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 okay four times now uh, let's create this data object inside the view instance so just uh, assign a false value here now by default this is hidden now when we click on delete icon then this model will be display in the page and asking the user are you sure want to delete this user with yes or no button so let's copy the same thing and go above now here you can see uh, this is our delete icon so here i will use at the rate click and paste equal to true for showing okay now go to the browser refresh now click on uh, this delete icon so you are uh, showing this dialog are uh, you sure want to delete this user uh, with uh, yes and no button okay so just go to the delete model so this is our delete model so when the user click no then simply the uh, simply the record will not delete uh, and only the model will hide so for this here just use click and uh, write the so delete model equal to false for just hiding the model and here also we will use the same thing for now okay so all the dialog box are ready this is add new user dialog this is edit user dialog and this is delete user dialog okay so that's it for now guys in next video i will show you how to create a database and table for this uh, crud application so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel